Hi YouTube, this is Lucy from kbeautyhobby.com and today I'm going to talk about my September empties. All of these products aren't necessarily something that I started in September, but I finished them all in September. The great thing about empties videos is by the time you get to the bottom of the tube or bottle, you've had a lot of time to form an opinion about the product and I feel like those reviews sometimes are even more beneficial than the ones that are done while the product is still in use. The first product I have is the Claire's Gentle Black Cleansing Oil and if you've never used a cleansing oil before, the purpose of them is to dissolve anything that is oil soluble, so makeup and sunscreen are the best probably examples of that. So you use a cleansing oil on dry, dirty skin, with dry, clean hands, apply it, massage it, then add a little bit of water, the cleansing oil emulsifies and usually turns white, and then it can be rinsed off and then you follow with a foaming cleanser. This oil, I expected it to be black for some reason, probably because of the name, but it's actually clear and the reason that it's called black cleansing oil is it has a black currant extract in it. This was good at removing makeup. It did sometimes leave some of my mascara behind, depending on the type of mascara, but the one thing I disliked about it is it left sort of a residue, kind of like an oily film after itself. That would be completely gone when I used the foaming cleanser, but it's still, I didn't like that feeling, so I would put on the oil and then dilute it with water to kind of rinse it off and it just left this strange uh, kind of barrier feeling layer. I don't know, I didn't love it. It was okay. It's not the cheapest oil and the ingredients are good. It, Claire's is a cruelty free brand. It's a good quality brand, but I think for that price, there are other oils that I like more. For those who enjoy the benefits of an oil cleanser, so a thorough removal of makeup and sunscreen, but maybe they don't want to spend the time that it takes to double cleanse, there's a series of products, the two-in-one cleansers, and I went through a trial sample size of one of these. This is by the Pure Lotus. It's a new, at least new to me, brand of Korean skincare, and they're from the Jeju Island in Korea. It's a vegan line of products. This one is made with various botanical extracts that are organic and it is a two-in-one gel to foam cleanser. So it starts out as a clear gel that is applied to a dry face just like a cleansing oil would. And then after massaging it for a bit, you add water and it foams. And then you, it becomes a foaming cleanser. You foam it, massage it a little bit more and then rinse off and your cleansing is done. This is obviously somewhat a small size. I was sent this by a company called Bemused Korea and it was enough for several uses. I took it on our mini vacation that we took in September and it was nice and convenient to just have this and not worry about a cleansing oil. So I liked it, but obviously this is a small size so I can't really have a thorough review of it, but I liked what I saw. Next product I have is a more traditional foaming cleanser by the brand Yada. And I started to be familiar with this brand completely by accident. I ran into it at TJ Maxx one time, which is a local store and they sell discount items. And sometimes they have Korean beauty. So I saw this and I actually started with sheet masks and then eventually I bought this as well for a very good price. So I, I went online and read a little bit about the brand and it was created by a mom when she had a hard time finding cosmetics and skincare products for her child who had some acne and, and problems of that nature. And so she ended up creating uh, this Yada brand that uses safe, non-toxic ingredients. This foaming cleanser is pore control and it's eight free, which means it's made without eight potentially controversial ingredients, such as parabens, for example and it's supposed to be non-drying. I mostly bought this for my husband. He has quite a problem with pores and some oiliness, but I've used this a fair amount of time as well, at least enough to form an opinion. I feel like it is a good quality foaming cleanser, especially for the price that I paid for it. It lasted a very, very long time. 
you only need a pearl size amount of it for the whole face and neck and it wasn't harsh at all so i'm uh, not very picky when it comes to foaming cleansers i don't expect them to perform miracles the main things i want them to do is to remove the residue of the oil cleanser and to not dry the skin out and this definitely fits the bill sticking with the cleansing product route i have this gibbon care cleansing pads i won these ones in a giveaway and actually ended up really liking them very much which is why i'm out of them now it is kind of an all-in-one cleansing pad they had a slightly embossed textured side and a smooth side they're advertised as being able to be just a one-step skincare that would take care of your cleansing and even your toning. I have a full review on my blog. I'll leave it in the description box below. The way that I use them mostly is sometimes when I come home from work or when we were um, just out and about and I would feel like my face needed a pick-me-up, a little refresher, but I didn't want to completely thoroughly double cleanse it and redo all of my skincare. I'd use these pads to just wipe off kind of the, the grime of the day before I'm ready for a full cleanse. They do work well at removing makeup. I don't recommend using them on the eyes. I did get the solution into my eyes. As I got to the bottom of this little jar, the pads on the bottom were obviously really, really wet with the solution and some of that got into my eyes and that stung. Um, but they were very nice. And another kind of pro tip on using these, if you have kids and you put sunscreen on them, which of course you should because everybody should wear sunscreen all the time. Well, sometimes it's really difficult to remove sunscreen, especially since for kids, or at least I prefer to use physical only sunscreens for myself actually and for the children as well. Well, that leaves sometimes a white cast. It can be hard to remove. You really should use an oil cleanser. Well, these take off all of that white residue and then I would just rinse it off. With any kind of cleansing pad or micellar water, even if the manufacturer says that it doesn't have to be rinsed off, I still choose to rinse off because sometimes there's surfactants or other ingredients in the pads that might irritate the skin if, they're, if it's left on for a while. So I like to use them and then just rinse off, but these were really good, they're very convenient, and especially for travel, because this is kind of a one-step cleanse. Speaking of SPF and white cast, this is my empty, or maybe it is, maybe there's enough for one more use, but this is by the brand Tooth House, it's their Soon Drew line, and this is their sun, mild defense sun cream. Uh, the whole Soon Drew line is made for people with sensitive and acne prone skin. It is made without fragrances and with ingredients that shouldn't trigger any kind of bad reaction. While this sun cream for my combination skin was quite heavy, it definitely replaces completely the cream step for me. So it combines the cream and the SPF step. In the fall and winter, it was quite good. When the air is dry and it's cold outside, it is heated and very dry indoors. This was pretty good, but still a bit heavy. I did not like to waste products, so I used it throughout the winter. And now in the summer, I was trying to use it up and that does not work for me in the summer at all. I mean, it just cakes on and when I go outside, it becomes just kind of oily. There's not really a lot of white cast. I'll give it to them, that's a good point, but this is probably more for people with dry skin or dry to normal skin. For my combination skin in the summer, this is a disaster. In the fall and the winter, it was okay. But I do appreciate that it is a completely physical filter sunscreen, that it has only good ingredients that are okay for all skin types, including sensitive skin, so if you have dry skin, try it out. It comes in different sizes. Uh, sometimes you can get like a travel size of this if you're just cautious and want to try it before committing to a bigger size. Next, I have two scalp care products. This one, oops, <laughs> I showed this one in my how to grow long and strong hair video. I will put a link down below to that. It is by a brand called Aromatica, and that brand is new to me. 
they caught my eye because they use only safe ingredients and a lot of organic ingredients. And this is an exfoliator for your scalp. So scalp obviously is skin and all skin should be exfoliated to remove debris and dead skin cells and allow the other products in your routine to work as well as they can. This one had big granules of salt in it, very interesting texture. It reminded me of a traditional shampoo or maybe even traditional conditioner, but with the salt mixed in. And it is applied to wet hair, it can be before or after shampooing. And then um, add a little bit of water, massage it in. The salt dissolves as you massage. If whatever didn't dissolve, just washes away when you rinse your hair. Um, smells like rosemary and I love it. I did donate 10 inches of my hair in September and now I am back to growing it out again. I'm quite lazy. I don't want to get regular haircuts. So I am definitely paying a lot of attention to scalp care because that is where healthy care starts. And another scalp care product, this is a regular, it's a favorite of mine, it's by the brand called Lador. There we go, it is a scalp scaling ampule, can't get my screen to focus on it, but I go through these quite a bit. I bought these multiple times, the most recent time I think I bought a set of 10. Uh, and it's a tube with a little nozzle. This is another uh, exfoliating scalp product, but it is a cream and you just need a little bit. This tube is enough, I think, for three or four times for me. And it's not really dependent on the hair length because you just apply it to the scalp, but it is massaged in and then rinsed off and it removes all of the buildup from styling products and just from daily life, from sweating especially if you work out like I do. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful find for me. And I will probably keep buying it all the time. Although I do like the feeling of products like that Arma Aromatica scrub, where you have the actual granules kind of massaging the skin. In September, I used 12 sheet masks. At least I hope I counted that right. I'm an accountant by day, so if I made a mistake, that would be really embarrassing. Anyway, I am focusing on using masks in series right now if I can. So if I have 10 masks of the same kind, kind of try to go through them. Maybe not one by one, but at, you know maybe do three of that kind on uh, consecutive days and then maybe try a different one and then maybe three more. I feel like when you go in these treatment sets and use the same mask, over and over, the same kind of mask over and over, you really get a good opportunity to see exactly how the skin responds. Using a one-off mask here and there can be nice. It can tell you a lot of whether you like the material, the scent, the overall effect, but to really truly see what a mask does to your skin, I feel like you should be using more than just one of each kind. So I have finished my box of these Out of Palm Real Barrier Soothing Gel Masks. I talked about them in my redness video. They are full of very thick, clear gel that is very, very hydrating. They're made for people with sensitive skin and I enjoyed them, especially if I had any redness. I'm very fair, so any kind of irritation immediately is visible on the skin and I like to have a good set of calming masks in my arsenal just in case I need them. These Papa Recipe masks are part of three boxes. Each box had 10 of them that I bought at TJ Maxx one time for a great price. I am uh, nearly finished with these purple ones, I am finished with the pink ones and I am uh, just getting into these yellow ones. The overall impression I've had is fantastic. The material is very thin and very nice. Uh, the serum is so soothing. Uh, the smells are great. I know the scent is just aesthetic and if there is no scent, I don't care, that is fine. But if there is a scent that I don't like, then that takes away from the experience. I used another one of these Uzo Gold Foil Masks. I'm almost ready to review them. I have a couple more to use. The Uzo is one of my favorite Korean beauty brands for sheet masks. They, I think, as far as I know, only make sheet masks. That is their kind of area of expertise. 
They hold several innovation awards in Korea for their sheet masks and I can definitely see why. So I get very excited when I can find these at a good price. Not necessarily this exact kind of mask, but just anything by the Uzo. Their space bears are fantastic. So of course this wasn't a disappointment, it's a great mask. Then I have these two very exciting ones uh, that are completely new to me. Uh, I was offered these uh, as a gift from the brand, that same uh, Pure Lotus brand that I showed you, the cleanser. This is not a sponsored review. I did get these for free, but I, they're good enough that I want to talk about them. I did show them in my Instagram stories at kbeautyhobbit, but these are the two masks, and each mask is a two-step process. It comes with a prep pad, so you cleanse your face and then use a prep pad that's a toner, basically soaked pad, to wipe off your face and get it ready for the sheet mask and then you put on the sheet mask. The one is soothing and brightening and another one is wrinkle treatment. The, the blue one is the soothing and this one is wrinkle treatment. Both masks, the masks themselves are pink and they're pink from uh, being naturally made from a lotus. The material is very thin, they adhered really well. And one major thing I really loved about both of these is after you take it off, so I would leave them on for 15-20 minutes as the instructions say, and after I took them off and patted in the remaining essence, they were not sticky at all. Some masks, or a lot of masks actually, after I remove the, the mask sheet and throw it away, the remaining essence can be sticky or a little bit heavy. Sometimes I always want to rinse it off um, because it's just too heavy and I feel like in 20 minutes my skin probably absorbed everything that it needed. It's okay to rinse off the remainder. But with these ones, it was really wonderful. Uh, my skin pretty much soaked up what uh, it wanted and then the remainder was not sticky and then I would seal that on with a moisturizing cream currently using Claire's one and it was just wonderful and then I woke up the next day with radiant glowy skin like I said earlier in this video just one single mask of any kind is really not enough to complete to form a complete opinion but so far from what I've seen these are really good quality Aesthetically, they're nice, they adhere well, they're fully saturated with serum, yet nothing is dripping down your neck. So I would probably purchase these. I'm not sure what the price point on them is, but I will uh, put a link to their website below so you can go check it out. Sticking with the sets theme, I bought a set of liters, these lifting amino masks. Uh, there, It's a set of 10, so far I've used two. Although I usually love Leader's brand, these ones so far are a bit disappointing. The essence seems fine, but the material is kind of stiff. And so it doesn't adhere very well and it just feels really kind of thick. And we'll see, maybe it's just the first impression. Like I said, I have eight more of these to go through. So I will see what I think after I go through those, but so far mm, a little underwhelmed. I also have two hair masks. One is by SNP, Shea Butter and Hydrolyzed Keratin. This is a split ends prevention mask. It gets applied on clean, wet hair. You just stuff your ponytail into it and then tie it off. And then after the, the directed time, it's rinsed off. And then there was a second part up here that I tore off and threw away that had a special serum that you apply on your damp hair and then you don't rinse that off. So I use this and the serum. I've used these before. This is, I think, the last one of a pack of five that I had. I think I had five. Um, I have so many things that I get mask amnesia, but I've written about them on my blog, so I'll put a link in the comments or in the description box. And you can read about it, but these are good. Obviously, I use that before I cut my hair. Right now, I don't really have a ponytail to speak of to do any kind of masks on. Uh, and then this one is by a brand called Meg. It is a steaming hair mask. And this one plus another one of these was a gift from a friend. I think they came in her face story box. I'm not sure, but that would be my guess. And she uh, is very particular about her hair. She didn't want to use these. So she passed these on to me and I'm very grateful for them. Uh, it was an interesting experience. So th this is applied. I've used them both now. The first one was uh, a couple months ago and then this one now. So it's applied onto clean, damp hair 
and it's sort of a turban and put it up well as i said in my how to grow your hair long and strong i don't usually like to put masks on the roots of my hair because i have oily roots and an oily scalp and extra product there just doesn't help well with a turban kind of application you really don't have a choice i try not to get when i massaged around the mask and try to distribute it on my hair i try not to get my scalp but there's really no way to not get the scalp and i yeah i appreciate the gift so that was very sweet and very nice and I've used these two and they just were a little too heavy. It might be just because I have oily scalp, maybe for somebody with dry dry scalp and dry hair, it would have worked better, but they were okay. Uh, not my favorite. I prefer either masks that come in bottles that I can apply about from the ear level down or like the one that I showed by SMP where the mask part is only going on the ponytail, but either way, I'm very grateful for these. I love trying stuff and I think having negative experiences is just part of it. If you'd like more reviews, go to my website keybeautyhobby.com. There's a little search feature that I recently put on where you can search by keywords or you can search by hashtags over anything that you want. Hopefully that's useful. I have an Instagram at keybeautyhobbit where I post all kinds of things review alerts, some stories, um, and sometimes I do little polls. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video, whether or not it was helpful, and especially please comment if you have suggestions on video topics that you would like to see. I work for you, so you tell me what you would like to see, what kind of content interests you, what is useful. If you have a minute, drop a comment below and let me know where you heard about this channel. Did you see it on my Instagram or are you in my Korean beauty fanatics group or did you see it somewhere else? Please let me know because I'm always curious where the people are coming from. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next Saturday. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin.